Hey what's up everyone, CC and Technology News here, and today I'm taking a look at Android 5.0 Lollipop, which is Google's latest big update of its mobile operating system. Now this is the successor to Android 4.4 KitKat, and it'll probably be the last major change we see to Android until well into 2015. Now I honestly think that Android Lollipop is the future of Google powered devices, so in this video I'm going to be going over everything that's new, as well as giving my opinions about this new OS. So one of the biggest changes to Android 5.0 Lollipop is the new design. Google's calling the new interface material, and basically it freshens up the look while adding responsive natural motion, realistic lighting, and shadows. As you can see, the home screens look fairly familiar, but a little bit different at the same time. Google's redesigned the soft keys, which now have a PlayStation-like flavor, and the Google app icons are also different now. It's innocuous stuff, but it tells you a lot about the aesthetic direction the system is heading in, because it's all about friendly curves and friendly shapes that are no obvious relationship with technology. Now the apps menu has also been redesigned, it's a lot more simplistic than before. First off, you no longer actually have widgets on the all apps page, which I think is a good move, and then also all your apps are sent against a simplistic white background instead of the translucent style of previous versions. Another new feature in Android 5.0 Lollipop is the new feature toggles, which you can bring up by swiping down from the top and then swiping down again. Basically, this is your new quick access settings menu, and you get access to things like a brightness slider, a Wi-Fi toggle, Bluetooth, airplane mode, auto-rotate, flashlight, location, and then also a cast screen feature for Chromecast. Now interestingly, with Android 5.0 Lollipop, there's actually no silent mode, so if you press the volume buttons, it just brings up a little on-screen menu that lets you choose to silence all notifications, or just non-important ones, indefinitely, or for a selected number of hours. Now I can imagine this might take a little bit of getting used to, but it is a neat idea that might otherwise have been relegated to the settings menu. It's basically a do not disturb mode brought to the surface. Now there are a couple apps that are also new with Android 5.0 Lollipop. First off, you get the new Google Fit app pre-installed, which is basically Google's answer to Apple Health Kit, and lets you track your exercise either by manually inputting it, or by using compatible health trackers. You also get the Google Slides app, which is basically a PowerPoint style app that lets you create presentations on the go. Gmail and Google Calendar have also been given a slight revamp in line with the Android 5.0 Lollipop look, although at this point that's not too major a change. Honestly, some of the biggest improvements in Android 5.0 Lollipop are the performance tweaks that the operating system brings. First off, Android 5.0 switches from using the Dalvik runtime to ART, and basically this is intended to speed up loading apps and switching between them. On a practical level, it should just make navigating around your phone or tablet that much quicker. Android 5.0 Lollipop also offers support for 64-bit processors, which could be a big deal in the future, as we see more processors like the NVIDIA Tegra K1 being put into smartphones and tablets. Now the final improvement in Android 5.0 Lollipop is the addition of OpenGL 3.1 support, which is the latest version of the graphics standard, so basically this is just going to make it so you can run even better and more graphical games on your Android device. Now I really do think that Android 5.0 Lollipop is a big release that does mean a lot for Google. It's crucial to the technical development of the platform, and it does bring some nice software improvements as well. Seen on a Nexus device, or perhaps one of Motorola's Moto Series ones, Android 5.0 Lollipop is a solid improvement, if not an essential one. Android 5.0 Lollipop may not mean a great deal to phones with heavily customized interfaces, but it does unlock a lot of future potential. Anyways, give me your opinions about Android 5.0 Lollipop in the comments below, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you're excited about Android 5.0 Lollipop, and I will see you next time.